What up? What's good? Beasy. <laughs> we back at it again, man. We back at it once again. Another beautiful day here on planet Earth, where I'm here to say <laughs> thank you. Thank you, universe, for the beauty of these hot peppers, man. Today, I'm in the garden, just chilling, you know? It's a nice day, you know? Nice early morning. And I was greeted by something absolutely wonderful, man. I'd like to show you guys. So look, we got some, we got some healthy pepper plants here. Look, at, we got flowers, man, flowers. And this plant's loaded. Got a lot of fruits, got a lot of fruits ripening up over here too, man. We got flowers, percolate, man, peppers. Ready to get picked, you know what I'm saying? Here too. We got more flowers, beautiful white flowers on the pepper plants, man. So I was just gonna, you know, share with you guys how I hand pollinate my pepper plants. You know, it's pretty, it's a pretty simple process. That's why this video is gonna be real short. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of like going through it because it's pretty self-explanatory to be honest. It's pretty simple. So look, I'm gonna go over to the to the pepper plant here you see you see you got an open flower right you guys can see that right here it's open flower i'm gonna just tickle it just tickle the flower and look you guys can see that i got pollen on my finger and now i'm gonna go to the next flower just tickle it find another flower <laughs> so you can see man i'm just over here tickling flowers and it's gonna make some peppers you know look tickle tickle some more flowers <laughs> it's that simple i could even go to the i could even go to the other plant look more plants tickling flowers y'all can see that i got a bunch of pollen on my finger y'all can see that right there the pollen tickling all these flowers man increasing my pepper yields you know what I'm saying because all the pollinator insects what, 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 what I'm just doing I'm just simulating what a pollinator insect would be doing you know what I'm saying the birds the bees <laughs> the ants the butterflies you know what I'm saying they fly around to all these pepper plants to all the flowers collecting the pollen inadvertently honestly they just like that stuff and it gets stuck to their legs. They got little hairy fibers on their legs. And so when they go to the next flower, they get that pollen from the first flower, spread it to the other flower. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could cross pollinate. You could, you could cross pollinate that way. And you could do it by yourself too, man. You just gotta tickle some flowers. <laughs> it's that easy, man. Just go, just go around tickling flowers and you're all good. Got some other flowers over here. These uh, these are not edible, but flowers nonetheless. Over here, man, y'all can see flowers, watermelon flowers. Yeah. So we're blooming over here, man. But yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to share with share that with you guys real quick. You know what I'm saying? Just chilling in the garden, tickling flowers. That's about it. <laughs> other than that, man, I love and I appreciate each and every single one of y'all. We are one, man. Separation is a lie. When you when you you're out in nature, man, you're around all this life. You see that. You see that connectedness. You know what I'm saying? You see the similarities, the slight differences that make us all unique. But we are one. And so, with that being said, man. Other than that, <laughs> it's been busy. I hope y'all keep it easy. I'm moving around because. All these mosquitoes are gonna attack me easy if I stay still. So I'll catch y'all up, man. Peace.